All right, so before we get into the advanced concepts, I also want to show you one other thing that you can do with edge flow. So here, for example, you can see the difference between the two, just like the last video. I have this, this where the topology is changing over. This one's the very basic form, and what happens when I hit tab, it looks like this, okay? And then get these pinch spots, just in case you didn't see the last video. Well, if I take this and show you like a different way to do it, uh, it, it helps students kind of formulate that there are other ways to do things. So what I'm going to do is just delete this form out and add a new mesh plane, go into edit mode, and subdivide this. Okay, let's hit 7 on the keyboard. We're going to divert the edge just a little bit different this time. We're going to do it some uh, kind of a traditional way of doing it, if there is such a thing. So this time I'm highlighting just vertices. And I'm going to use it V on the keyboard. V, and my mouse is right here, allows me to rip a hole in the mesh. Okay. There's also the rip command over here. Now, it is kind of hard to use the rip command over here. It is almost dedicated to a hotkey because my cursor needs to be in a location. In other words, if I rip that, I need to pull this way. If I'm over here on the button, it gets all wonky. So that's the difference. This is probably the one tool that you almost really, really have to have a hotkey in order for it to work. All right, so I'm just going to kind of move these over. Then we're going to take edges, two edges together, face them, F on the keyboard to face. F. Then I'm going to do a control R and put an edge loop here. Then I'm going to go to vertices. I always kind of switch back here to the non manipulator so that way when I'm grabbing things, the manipulator isn't getting in the way. So I'm grabbing all these edges or vertices, sorry, and hit F on the keyboard. Okay, that looks like a triangle, right? Well, let's do that one more time up here. Okay, this really isn't a triangle. It's a kind of a hyper quad. And all it is is a triangle that is really a quad based upon flattening one point out. Okay, well, what's the advantage of this? And why does it look so weird? Well, let's let's kind of look at the flow of what it does now that this is in place. Control R. Huh. Pretty neat, right? The fact is you have now diverted and made it a topology change that allows the edge to flow around the mesh a little bit differently. And you can do that all day long. Control R. Vertices, switch back. Okay, well, let's look what happens here. All right, well, now that we have this in place, what does it do for me? Well, let's look at the whole extrude feature here. Let's take these faces right there, minus these two. Oh, uh, shift and control to add faces, by the way. Just like that. 
And if you ever want to deselect something, it's just shift. So shift and control, shift to deselect. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to take and extrude this off. Then I'm going to take this form. Extrude that up. And let's look at that when it's smoothed out. Okay, very cool. Look at the change between these two forms. Very nice. Okay. The only thing I don't like is the fact that it dead ends right here, like this. Uh, in that case, I would probably support this with an edge loop. Remember, these are just studies. What my important, what I'm looking at more is the change between these two forms and these two forms. The back end is just something I have to deal with. So now you can see that's much better with that edge in place. I can't tell you how important this stuff is as far as I know it's kind of boring, but you know, if you can produce form change that is very nice, you can produce automobiles, you can produce very high end CAD, and it always looks very tapered and very cool. If I wanted to harden out those edges, however, uh, a little bit different story. Whoops. Okay, so now let's say I didn't want this edge to be so rounded here. Okay. Well, what I would do is I could put an edge here like that. An edge here like that. And the minute I hit tab, you can see now I have a more tapered look. Okay. Again, just playing around with edges, very important stuff. Okay, now that we've looked at a different way of forcing a topology change, let's go into the next video and learn some more.